This is Dead Island 2, and our goal is to show you the best legendary weapon in the game for farming zombie parts with ease. <laughs> Welcome mates, I'm Bloodthirsty Lord, Bankering Lordy, and in this video, we'll highlight how to get this weapon and the reasons why it's so good for maiming any zombies for those incredible resources to build even better weapons. This is gonna be fun, so bring a chalice and stay hydrated. And thanks to Dan Buster Studios, Deep Silver, and PlayOn for providing us a Dead Island 2 code to be able to cover the game on the channel today. And the amazing weapon that I was describing is this weapon right here, being the Brutalizer. It is kind of crazy looking. There's a lot of benefits to this weapon. As you see right now, 511 power, damage is 990, force 16, speed 1, max durability at 71. You can adjust this in many ways to make the build you want with the modifiers you need and to make it overall even better than what it is originally when you get it. So the details of this weapon highlight a sharp category, which is great. Maiming, which is the idea you need for these weapons. So it has to be this category and sharp helps out quite a bit as well. Many regain stamina, targets limbs for critical hits. Meaning that if you target any limbs in the game, to get any type of zombie part, increase amounts of those zombie parts on that particular zombie. For example, a Volatile Screamer, which provides you with Electrified Brains, which allow you to build in certain mods for your weapons. If that's the goal, you can use this weapon in order to get more of those ingredients, those zombie parts that you need. And with the weapon itself, we've got the mod being Superior Melee Emulator, does more damage overall and applies weakened effect on the A zombie as well. Bloodlust, land critical hits in quick succession to do more limb damage, weaken your victims even further, and this can stack up multiple times. And with certain slays, they do have a incentric ability, being able to maybe attack quicker after a succession of hits and be able to stack that. This will also work well with those characters being like Jacob. So this is why it's a very good weapon overall, but it works even better on other characters. Another fixed perk I do have is Contagious, which is great. And then we put Enhanced, which gives us more damage and also damaging, increased damage even further. You can increase attack speed as well. Your choice, wherever you want the build to be, you've got the choices there. But this legendary weapon is a very good weapon. And the way you get it is by going to this area here. So from Ricky's house in Beverly Hills, this is the location. Keep that in mind. We're gonna go to that location there, pings on the map. That's the place we want to be. So let's try and get down there. All you need to do is jump over this area here. Also, if you can, Ricky's in that house as well. Try and play all the side quests in the house first, and then you'll be prompted with a new side quest in this location. So you'll be able to go to this location here very, very soon. And I do want to showcase the benefits of this in a moment. But we're gonna let that go. Go over here, past this actual van here this armored truck, and then jump up top of here. And after a certain amount of quests being completed with Ricky, a new quest will appear here. Some crazy artist lady will appear in this corner or over here. Talk to her, she'll give you missions. And these missions will be pinned onto this board where you are able to collect body parts, aka zombie parts, and give it to her so she can have a new art supply for her creations. And then from there, that'll scale up. You go through a series of side quests with her, I think around four or five. And the last quest will be collecting mutated hearts. And then she'll disappear, she won't be here. Then later on, she'll appear through this doorway. And then you'll be able to go through, and she'll be chilling right around here. There you go, that is the NPC character you wanna see. She becomes a trader as well, so keep that in mind, where you can get some crazy items from her as well, and just some more items overall. So it's always good to have more traders available. That's a trader there. And that's her masterpiece in the background. Really trippy. Yep, it is really, really trippy. But she made that with zombie parts, and she gives you the weapon straight away as a reward for completing the side quest with this character. And that is how you get this brutalized weapon. I do suggest using it. It is so good. And in right now, at maiming, legendary 25, and with that much damage and power, the example of what it can do is actually incredible. So let's try to go over here. Jump over this fence. There's a special spawn close by of fire, but we can try and go over here and just showcase power. One shot, limb gone. Other shot, limb gone. Maimed completely, legs, everything. And you can do this when they're still alive, not when they're dead on the floor, when they become one shot. It's when they're standing and rushing you. You're just one shotting them. So there's a firestorm slobber here, where we get flammable liquid if we're lucky. Let's kill the runners first. Leg gone, leg gone, easy. Watch out for that one. His hand's gone, he got maimed. I'm gonna jump over here. I'm gonna use my screen for a second to cleanse that ignite off. Get to this point. I'm gonna try and hit his hand if we can get the time. Critical hit, critical hit. Maimed, perfect. Do the other side too. Maimed again. And now we're getting a whole bunch of resources. Very, very nice. It's just increasing all the resources you gain from these zombies because it's very important to have these resources to be able to put zombie modifiers on your weapons, which are usually highlighted by these weird icons here. Like it's much different from the standard icons. It's more like a darkened icon. 
and the contrast is different, those are the zombie mods that you get in your weapons. So having more zombie mods in your weapons usually means a better weapon overall, depending what those mods are. So this weapon is highly a must, especially if you're trying to farm legendary weapons. Get this as your first one, it'll make your life easier. And if you're going through Beverly Hills, this is one of the places that you encounter in the middle of your playthrough, so maybe try to farm it then, and get it then so that you're able to have more accessibility to options as you play throughout the story. Because the story is a bit short, but you do have a lot of side quests to enjoy. And this is one of the side quests I think it's mandatory before actually continuing with the main story. And this weapon is a really fun time. It's a one-shot main weapon that gives you all the resources that you need when you're farming for zombie parts for those zombie mods. But mates, tell me your opinions and thoughts in the comment section down below. What do you think about the weapon? Do you think it's good? Do you think it's bad? Are you using it right now? I'd love to know in the comment section down below. And as always, mates, it's a pleasure to have you guys on the channel. As we're through this, and now I'll catch you, mates, next time. Bye. Road to 200k subscribers. Let's get it, mates.